this is the presentation that separates men from the boys right here. When you got when you got a tail first calving, it's hard. I don't care who you are. I, I've pulled hundreds of them. It's hard. I mean, it is a pain. How many of y'all pulled a breech calf before? Pulled a breech calf. Is it easy? It, it's it's terrible, right? It's terrible. So, like I said, the first now I've pulled these without an epidural. I pulled a lot of them without an epidural, but. An epidural will help you so much on a breech cabin. And, and this is the one that people get mad at me for. They get there, they, they've been working on this calf for an hour. They're like, man, I could just barely get it. But I can't get it out. So I get there, I give them a shot of epinephrine and epidural, and I have it out in five minutes, and they're just like extremely aggravated with me. <laughs> so my advice on, on these is, number one, know your limits. On a leg back, or a head back, I really think you can get in there and get that done <coughs> if you're confident and you just do it, you know? Um, if you're gonna be timid about it, <laughs> call somebody. It's just, there's no way to timidly pull a calf. You gotta just get in and get them out. But on, if you if you see a tail first, know your limits. It, if you don't have arms like us, it's hard to reach that calf. It is hard to reach a calf. And there there's, there's tricks and I, I worked with some absolute awesome um, associate veterinarians in Illinois that were like this tall, and they could pull a breech calf with the best of them. Um, but they had a way of doing it. They got a they got a, a uh, milk crate that they would stand on, and they had they'd put a series of chains on there, and they'd get somebody to pull them. I don't know how to do that because I've always just reached down and got the got the tip of the leg out. So, anyways, what I do is when I go to pull a breech calf. It's the same thing. A lot of times these legs are going straight down, right? Straight down the, the, the uh, down deep into the body of the cow, okay? So what I do is I run my hand up underneath that cow's, calf's tail on one hand. Because usually that tail's right there and the butt's right there. And she's been pushing long enough that it really looks like a football coming out of the back there. Those legs are tied up straight up. So what I do is, is I push that calf forward like that right there as hard as I can. And sometimes if you got short arms, and you got a wiffle ball bat, I tell people to put a wiffle ball bat on that calf's butt and they push while I get in there and try and get that leg out, okay? So you just, there's not a wiffle, I say a wiffle ball bat because you're not going to tear anything up with it, right? It, it's plastic, it's not like you're going to poke a hole in the side of that uterus, right? Because sometimes, let me tell you, if they've been calving for a while, that uterus can get really friable. I mean, you could poke a finger through it like it's, you know, tinfoil or, a, you know, newspaper it gets really friable so anyways i take and i push that calf up like that and you can see what that does it frees them up then i reach down and again i try and grab the bottom of that foot where i'm protecting that cow and this is the one where you will really tear a cow up if you just pull up like this because that's all you'll reach you can easily cut a hole in that cow's uterus so i reach down there i grab that thing and i pull up and out and then usually if you get the first one out, a lot of times that second one comes up a whole lot easier, okay? So then the second one I do, change hands, I push up on this one, I reach in, well, it depends on which arm is sore than the other one at that point. I'm using both arms, I guarantee you. Nothing will wear you out like pulling a calf. Hook up and out and out, out the back like that right there, all right? Um, it looks really easy here when you're not in a big dark hole. <laughs> it is a whole lot harder than that, but.